Hey, Troy. Uh, the beauty of the setup that you were in, I'm going to go ahead and open Elementor here while I'm talking and then also open the other thing, which is the customize option. So this is editing this page with Elementor. This is editing your site-wide settings with Astra. Astra is the name of the WordPress theme that you are on, and you are actually on the Astra Pro version, which gives you incredible control over everything on your website, um, which is great if you know how to do it. And if you don't, it's kind of frustrating. So um, here we go though, this is loading. This is what your Astra theming looks like. And we'll get into this, but first I'm gonna show you the button settings. So on any one of these buttons, you can go in and go into the style. And under the style, you have an option for the normal. And on normal, your text color is black and your background color is white. On hover, it changes to the opposite. Text color white, background color black. You can see that effect happening here. If we scroll to the bottom, we also have another button here. And on this one, if we go into the styling, on normal, your text color is just whatever the default is, right? So this is default settings, and I'll show you those in a minute, and the background color is black. On hover, the text color is black, and the background color is gray. Well, that's the effect we're seeing, right? The reason I set this to gray is because it's on a white background. So this one, light button, so it's the opposite effect, right? This is a light button on a dark background, and then when we roll over it, it changes to a dark button with white text. This one, because it's on a light background, I couldn't use the white, and I'll just show you what happens if we make this white, you lose the whole button, right? It looks no good to do that. So you don't really want it to be that. Whoops, what happened to our button? Oops, I'm just gonna Control Z to undo that. So I press Control plus Z on your case on a Mac, you do Apple Z or Control Z or whatever it is. I don't know what it is on a Mac, but anyway. So we don't want that because that loses the button, no good. So we'll go back into our hover settings, change the background color. We're gonna pull this down to a gray, right? But we still get that changeover effect when we roll over it. So that's good. Um, this button, what's happening with this button, let's take a look. So I'm gonna go in to my pencil on the right-hand side here and check what's happening. Okay, fine, right click, fine, don't care. I'm on that box, okay? So same thing, I'm gonna to go to the style and the text color is default and the background color is black, which is what it is. And then on hover, I'm just using whatever the site defaults are, right? So you could change this on this individual button. But let's say you wanted to not change this individual button, you wanted your site-wide settings to be something else. Well, you do that inside of that customize option that I showed at the beginning, customize. This is a very dangerous section of your editor abilities because you can literally mess up everything on your website here, but you can always change it back too. So you can try it, see if you like it. If you don't, then you don't. All right, so this, uh, this button is pretty much operating by default. The only setting that's happening with this button is on normal, we're using black as the background, but let's just see what happens if we clear this out, what would our button color be? By default, it's black, and by default, it changes to a white option. Those are our default option settings. So how we edit that? Well, you'll just have to hunt around in here and look for stuff, pretty much. So I know where buttons are, um, and by default, your button color is black and your text color is white. And on hover, your background color goes to gray and your text color goes to black. Well, that button, this button, we actually opened this page before we had made that change to the page, and we haven't actually updated this yet, so I just went, you didn't see that because it was off screen, but I hit the update button on here so we can actually see what we're doing. But that's exactly what's happening with that button is what the default settings are. Okay, so we'll wait for this to load. It's gonna take just a second, scroll down here, right? So our default settings are actually happening with this button. So if we go into our global settings, we could change any option on here on these buttons under the color. We could change this. So right now we've got text color white, background color black, but let's say we wanted our button color to be blue, right? So now we've got blue changing to white because on our hover state, we have it with a text color black and a background color gray. Text color black, background color gray, right? And it even keeps a border which I don't remember, spacing borders right here. So, oh, well, it's just keeping that border by default. Why is it doing that? There's a little blue that stays, I don't know why. Um, 
but that's what we're doing on hover, right? You probably don't want that, so let's just go back here and change this again so our background color is more gray on rollover. So get back to my grayscale, right? So um, we wanted it black here, and then on hover it was it's just that, right? So we've got this now functioning. That is our default behavior. So you can change it site-wide, and then it will change it. Uh, why it's changing to white here, button, normal, I don't know. But you can set it inside of these settings, right? So it could be something else. Why it's changing to white. Oh, that's the active state of a link. It actually makes it white. So that's a whole other thing under here is the active state of a link is separate from the coloring in here for that button. So if you really want to do it, I would just recommend sticking with the Elementor option and not playing so much inside of here, but I just show you this to give you an idea of what's possible. Um, you can change everything site-wide. All of your controls are possible to change everything. You could change your font face across the whole website. Um, you could, I mean, it's, it's limitless. So don't get hung up in this. This design stuff is the last of your concerns at the moment. Really, you want to stick with the SEO, getting people to the site, getting the business going. Um, this stuff can all come later. So you probably don't want to spend too much time with this, um, you know, getting it all looking just so. I would stick with what you've got in here. So let's just go ahead and do that. So our text color by default is going to be white and our background color is going to be black. And that's our default right now. Now you'll see it's not doing anything on rollover because I haven't told it to do something on ro ro rollover. I only told it to do something here. So this supersedes now what's happening in here. right? But if I go in now in hover state and I want to change it so that the text color goes black. Well now the text color goes black on rollover, see? But I also want to change it so that the background state of that button changes to white on rollover. Now we've got it or I could change it to blue. Now we've got it, right? So the really nice thing about Elementor, you can just do it on the fly and you can see it happening. Um, there is no other builder that I'm aware of for WordPress that gives you this level of control uh, without compromising the speed on your website. And this helps. Um, you can do all of this stuff and still have a fast loading website, which is pretty awesome. All right, hopefully this video is helpful for seeing how to control things, um, control button settings, obviously, and genuine UVC is controlled by the same, so Astra and Elementor, so you've got your Astra settings and you've got your Elementor settings for any individual page, then just hit update when you want to change them. All right, hopefully that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions on that, but um, a lot of this is just playing around with it and figuring it out, and also there's lots of good videos about it. But yes, as far as business building goes, I would not spend a ton of time on this because there are much more pressing things to be working on. So, all right. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks, Troy.